Welcome back my ageless friends. I just was missing you so much. I had to take a little break because I had a terrible cold. It just hung on and hung on and hung on. I think you can still tell in my voice I'm a little stuffed up and on my face it's just so swollen and I've still got red and things going on. So, uh, But I just couldn't wait any longer because the main focus of this uh, tutorial today is all going to be about my brand new Legendary Lashes uh, Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. I was so excited to get this after I saw the recommendation from Wayne Goss here on YouTube and I yeah, I'm always I always want to try it for myself because mascaras to me have just been really hit or miss. I've either had some that have just been really great at first and then when they wear a little while they start to fleck off and you start to get little black dots down here and you're talking in a serious conversation with someone or you're in an argument trying to really make your point it's hard to take you seriously when you're just dotted with black mascara all over the place so i usually have to wear waterproof and i didn't know i didn't notice that this comes in waterproof. i looked all over it. i don't think it comes in waterproof yet hopefully it will uh, if you want to see the whole full tutorial on it as well as introducing some other new products for uh for today i'm very excited to incorporate a lot of new products that i got because i just you know i was gonna do one at a time and i thought no i'm way too excited so i did this entire look um almost entirely with brand new products to me um and some may be new on the market but they're at least they're new to me and so i I did really a full-on look really 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 nerve-wracking for me to go anywhere without makeup on I don't I'm not sure any of my friends that are watching have really ever even seen me without makeup on or at least I makeup on at least mascara and so this was a really big jump of bravery for me to do this for y'all today and to go uh, you know naked face and naked eyes on here today um, some of the other new products that I'm trying on today in this uh, this next video is the weekend warrior from Amanda Steele's collaboration so Amanda Steele by Colourpop and this uh, this is gonna make a little appearance in this video I also wanted to give a huge shout out to real her so I will talk to you a little bit more about that with the, at the end of the video um, and then as well as some other new products that I liked including uh, I got the one of the Too Faced little melted matte lipsticks in what, a, a bag or a little gift bag or points or something and I noticed that the name of it is Queen Bee Oh, <laughs> my Instagram family and my former students will understand that reference. So I was very excited to try that. And that's what I have on my lips today. So we're going to do a lipstick cocktailing segment as well as try on a few other neat things. So I'm really excited to share that with you. So if you want to see how to get this look, including almost all new makeup items I've gotten this week, uh, please keep watching. <laughs> so here it is my blank face <laughs> I'm going to prime with some Mac fix plus and then I'm also going to use the fix plus to dampen my beauty blender to put on some t uh, of the Tarte hybrid gel foundation and tap that in to my face with the beauty blender um, It's a really really good foundation you just have to go really light with it because a little goes a long way and if you need some more just a tiny little dot more and to keep bouncing that around so we obviously we have fast motion, but something about my under eye looks pretty bad and pretty uh, terrible. <laughs> Very sleepy and uh, what will rescue my sleepy bags under my eyes? Some concealer um, and this is by Milani. And I'm using this for the first time so I'm just dotting it on and the sponge applicator I'm just using that for right now and it's a little bit hard so you can see me like ow <laughs> right there uh, but uh, I'm trying to use it to um, tap it in and I'm I think I might use something else but the concealer is still pretty nice but yeah next I'm just gonna set everything with some RCMA powder my favorite and that I don't really like the container it's just a bottle that it comes in so I got this cute little container from Target and I'm going to grab a Times Los Angeles big fluffy brush and <laughs> hopefully not get it all in my mouth and uh, set all the powder so that it doesn't crease and I really really love this brush and um, love that container too <laughs> what am I looking for something oh so this is the Real Herb Playbook shadow palette and it is just such a pretty palette and I'm going to use uh, some from the ColourPop Amanda Steele by ColourPop 
palette just to get the mats because the other palette doesn't have really as many mats and then use the other palette for the the, the shimmers so I am just defining my crease here with uh, just a base color what is that on my face <laughs> only I could get something black when there's no black anywhere to be found anywhere and I have it on my forehead uh, so anyway just going back in with a fluffy morphe brush and defining the crease and just to kind of make my eyeball pop out I'm, you know, not no that sounds terrible but I'm trying to make my eyes pop instead of uh, you know and so defining this little shadow then I'm going in and getting a little bit darker shade to continue that shadow of the crease so that my eyes pop not my eyeballs pop out <laughs> and there's always hair in my way and other things so just you know ignore all that um, but this is such a really really nice palette I really like it and the shimmers are gorgeous and they're very pigmenty and they're very um, easy to blend so then I'm just grabbing a little bit of a like a copper color to define the outer part of my eyelid and I'm going to go back in um, with a smaller flat lid brush to grab the lightest color just to um, make my eyes a little bit more defined. And I really love the, these brushes. And this is another Morphe brush to kind of just blend everything together. Then I'm going to use one of the darker colors to define my lash line. You notice I'm really not using that many that much eyeliner these days. I really like this eyeshadow trick. And remember that you're pushing upwards, especially if you have aging eyes, you have those extra wrinkles to push all that liner and make it meet the uh, liner from the top and kind of push that up instead of making it pull your eye down. So here it is, the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. And here we go. We are going to put this right on and see how we do. The brush is nice and fluffy. It's the one that I like for separating. So I'm gonna get the excess off and here we go. Wow, <laughs> it is really amazing. I can't believe one coat and maybe just another half of a little bit of a coat later and that's all it took for me to get my lashes where I wanted them to be. That's absolutely amazing. So I'm just kind of grabbing the little hairs on the outside and the inside and look how easily it picks that up. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, uh, uh Yep, leave it to me to get mascara all over all that eyeshadow work that I just did. So, of course, I'm going to have to go clean that up a little bit. But then I learned, make sure you fan that mascara. It goes on very wet. And uh, the bottom lashes as well. I think I'm going to mess this up here, too, in a second. <laughs> But just remember to fan and really, really dry this mascara in between um, applications. And you might want to put a layer of it on before the other eyeshadow. But here we go. They are just, it's just done wonder for my eyelashes. And I'm going to do some cleanup work. <laughs> I am just uh, going over with my favorite Urban Decay powder foundation just to kind of cover up some extra spots that the concealer didn't cover. Normally my favorite concealer I will say is the Tarte Shape Tape and this is a lot of YouTubers favorite concealer and it really is still my favorite. Uh, but I also like the IT Bye Bye Under Eye which I was just showing you there. To contour I have used this and I haven't quit using it. It's my favorite from Too Faced. It's from the Coco Contour Palette that, that shade up at the top and I really like this. This is one shade that does not turn me orange like a lot of them do and I'm just bronzing a little bit of my face to make my forehead come down. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Blush which is one of my favorites right now and just using a big fluffy brush to uh, <laughs> have way too much fun putting blush on the apples of my cheek. Okay, so introducing my B Bella highlighter palette. I had to heave it up there because look at the pan size of these. It's really, really nice. I'm using that lightest shade to go in with a highlighter brush and woo, hello highlighter show up. Mm -hmm. And just uh, the bridge of my nose and a little on my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. And then going in with a big fluffy brush and just kind of making everything set. Then I'm going to highlight my under eye with the lightest shade from the um, new one of my new palettes the real her palette and this is it so this is the look that I would do just to go to work or uh, well, something's missing hmm what would it be ah lips
So today's lipstick cocktail, I'm going to go in with my brand new Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. And I actually like a dark, dark lip liner. And I like for it to look more of a line. I know a lot of people don't like to use a liner. To me, it just seems like your lipstick bleeds without a liner. So I always, always line. But uh, some people don't like that line. So you could actually smudge that or blend it a little bit better. But there's my Queen Bee Too Faced that I'm trying for the first time today. And my lighting, I notice, is a little off here. But it does come on pink. And it's just really beautiful at first. And then it starts to look a little but anyway so it looked a little pink but as it dried it started to get a little dark um so it's going to look a little bit brown but i'm using the new charlotte tilbury lip toppers and putting it right in the center for that shine and look how it just shines that color right up and I'm using the pink lip topper with the little pink tint in it to kind of bring the pink back a little bit. And it turned out really, really pretty. I actually liked it. There's me smiling and happy and ah, no more naked face. <laughs> So this is the finished look and I'm really impressed with the things I tried today, especially, oh my gosh, you guys, this legendary lashes from Charlotte Tilbury, I, I knew I was excited and Wayne Goss is exactly right when he said this is really outstanding mascara. The only thing I'm sure you noticed as I was struggling in the video, this is really a problem that I have with my own eyelashes though. They're so long and gangly that it's, it's I'm, I, I do my eyeshadow but I might as well not because as soon as I put mascara on it's going to dot all over the place and mess it all up. All that work that I did um, because my eyelashes are just super long but if you notice they are just separated and pretty and I am in love with this so far now of course you know I just put it on and I haven't had a chance to wear it but I will update you if there's anything other than like fireworks going off when I talk about this because he's right it, it, you know, Wayne Goss is right it is absolutely amazing I will warn you though that it probably as you noticed in the video it is really wet going on and but I mean if you notice the minute it hit your eyelash or hit my eyelash the minute it hit it was on it was black it was separating it was full and it is really amazing I you know I'm a little bit like uh, because I have looked far and wide for years and years and years and years for a great mascara and this might be it. <laughs> I have for years worn uh, the, just the Maybelline uh, Volume uh, Colossal Mascara Waterproof in the yellow tube. I think I've talked about this on my channel before. And that's just been my ride or die. It's the one I can count on. It does, I know what it's going to do. Uh, I know what it's not going to do. <laughs> uh, and it's waterproof, so I don't have to worry about, you know, if I, you know, have the eyes watering or um, that stupid This Is Us show comes on and I'm crying at a show. Oh my gosh, I hate cry. I never cry at movies. I never cry at shows. But this show, oh, if you're not watching it, oh my gosh all the feels it's so good i mean this is us is the show and I, I mean just watch it but have a huge huge box of kleenex next to you to shoot because it is oh, it's so so feels so anyway uh so anyway while i'm watching that i like to have waterproof mascara on but this is absolutely amazing Go try it, buy it, see what you think. But I'm telling you, and I remember I told you in my last, you know, favorites mascara that there's really no such thing as the best mascara. But this comes awfully close. At least it does for me. So give it a try. Uh, I just would love to hear if you try it or you have it and how you like it. And if you are just going crazy like I am over it. I, I'm just so baffled. It's just so good. <laughs> and so I just can't believe after all these years I found this great mascara. If something changes, I will let you know. I really believe in being honest. And especially as we get older, we ain't got time for the nonsense. Like, tell me, is it going to work? If not, move on. <laughs> so there's some of that going on too. The other thing people that I wanted to give a really big shout out to. Speaking of women and cool, was I speaking of that? Anyway, women and cool. <laughs> there is a company called Real Her Cosmetics and I wanted to give them a shout out and I have been doing it on my Instagram all week um, because I just think it's the neatest concept that they have. 20% uh, of their profits go to uh, programs that empower women and girls and um, on top of that all of the uh, items that they give you have a little empowering message on it like you can do it, you will succeed, love yourself. So you can't pick up one of their products without uh, really feeling like you're empowered for the day like you've got a little nice inspirational message so I think that's really cool to do uh, especially in light of all the things that have been historically happening in our, our country and uh, right now this eyeshadow palette is the real her playbook be your own kind of beauty palette and it is just beautiful I went in with an inner corner here 
um, this one right here, and uh, it is called, let's see, Courage. Well, all of them. Courage, Alive, Confidence, Invincible, Brave, Power, Adore, Darling, Royal. I mean, those are great adjectives for uh, women, especially if you're, you know, you know, struggling with things and you really want to have a nice positive message for once <laughs> with everything going on. It's nice to have positivity in, here and there. Um, and so anyway, that one uh, has may have maybe taken the place of the inner corner highlight that I've been using forever. And so it's great. I love it. You know, I haven't worn it very much to know if they move around or shift. And of course, I had to mess with it a little bit, mess it up a little bit because I got mascara on my eyelid. But <laughs> that's what we do when we are, a, are you know, are, are older and uh, can't put the glasses on while you're putting the eyeshadow on. So anything can um, happen. Another new item I tried here in the video for the very first time today was the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. And it has, you know, it comes out the middle like I showed you and it has this little sponge to get it around. One thing I will say, it's, it's okay. I mean, I think it did a pretty nice job. Uh, but the brush, I think it's, you know, you don't want it to be too soft or it's just gonna wipe it all off your face. So I understand that. But the, the brush was a little hard. I think you could see me going, <laughs> uh, So, and it doesn't really, I think what I should have, what I would have done next time, what I will do in the future, I think I even showed you, I picked up my beauty blender and said, I really should be dotting this on and then uh, using my beauty blender to, to put that in, to tap that in. I think I would have lot, I had a lot better results than just, you know, smear, you know, trying to pat it around with the sponge. So I would definitely just either draw or dot and then use your beauty blender to, see, I even got mascara on my beauty blender. <laughs> It's everywhere, <laughs> but that's just me with every mascara. So, um, and of course, you know, uh, my riot or die for for the longest time. In fact, if you just want to run out the door and you don't want to do a full makeup face, or you know, you you don't have time to do things and you're running out the door, this Urban Decay powder foundation is it what it's called? Powder foundation. It is the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation, and I'm in Fair Cool, and I've worn this for for the past couple of years i think at the beginning when i first started doing makeup and i've never stopped using it and you see it's well loved and this is on this is probably my fourth or fifth um one to go through um, because i used to use it for all over for my whole foundation and it covers that well it that's how good this covers but the trouble is if you have base you know if you have um if you have foundation and concealer on and then you put a powder foundation over it, that's when you start to look cakey and it starts to crease in your wrinkles. And I think that's why a lot of people say, well, I can't wear concealer. I can't wear powder foundation because it creases. But you have to do things in the right order. And like I said, setting your makeup with that RCMA powder. That's another product that I can't live without is that RCMA powder. It is absolutely amazing. It's so great. I have super dry skin and it it doesn't dry out my skin for some reason. It's just the best kind of powder to use for dry skin. It doesn't settle into your wrinkles and your smile lines. And that's what I was really worried about and it doesn't do that. So I love that powder, but this for a foundation for a pressed powder is, is amazing. And also, like I said, it's so nice to be able to use to just touch up a line for your lip liner, um, to be able to go in and fill in maybe a couple of extra little parts that something didn't, you know, that, that something missed. Um, I don't know if you noticed too that when I was putting my, my foundation on, I don't put it on down here. And I think that's another reason why older women feel like they don't want to wear foundation because they say, well, it just, you know, makes this line down here. And, you know, as I touch my face during the day, it wipes off and it moves around. And you saw what I did, I just used it right here and then used powder or even the powder foundation to go down here you've got a lot of extra baby hairs when you're older um, you've got fine lines and maybe some of these horrible neck wrinkles that I have to deal with maybe you've got that too so really the last thing you want is to highlight all of that um, even though we don't care we're ageless <laughs> but I mean let's be real some of us don't want to just like in your face look how old I am uh, but that's one thing that you can do to avoid all that is to not take your foundation all the way down here so that's something to think about too okay. the last thing I want to really praise I, this is the first time I've used it and woo look at that glow <laughs> and that is the Be Bella fairy dust palette and look at these huge pans of, of highlighters and this is the one that I used on me I'm super fair and you can you can see what a nice little glow that is and you just put it where the Sun would hit you when you were going outside and uh, some people don't like the tip of the nose I just remember you know the big thing in the like 40s and 50s people would be in the movies and say I need to go to the restroom and powder my nose I have a little shine and of course now we're like shine <laughs> but uh, 
you know, it's just a neat little trick to, uh, you know, catch the, the light and to make it look like our skin is so healthy and younger and glowing. So I think a lot of people avoid highlighters, especially older women avoid highlighters because they're, they, you know, you put it here and that's where your smile line is. You're like, well, gosh, the last thing I want to do is highlight all these wrinkles. So that's, I, that's not what I want. But if you'll put it in the right spot down here and not up in here and not, you know, where you would have wrinkles, just put it. And a lot of people bring the highlighter way down here. And I would not want to highlight my big ugly pores right there either. So I keep it right up here where the sun would naturally hit my face. And it, I think that's another reason I have this kind of youthful glow. It's, it's not because of me. It's not because of my youth or my glow. <laughs> I don't have any anymore. I don't think. Uh, but it's because of using a highlighter. And this is the first time I've used this palette. I love it. I would definitely recommend it. It, and it has all kinds of different shades for different skin tones and like I said I use this one but I, I think I can use all the rest of these too they're just different colors for different shades and different looks that you're trying to go for. Uh, the last thing that I use for the very first time today are my brand new a few of the brand new Morphe um, bronze set with the white handles and look at aren't they just pretty they're just sleek and pretty the weight is nice and the and the they are so soft and they blended they blended everything really 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 well and i am very impressed with these these are my new favorite morphe brushes like i have a million favorite morphe brushes but these are this is the first time i use these and they're excellent so definitely recommend getting this set it also has uh face brushes and um you know stipple brushes and it has it's, it's a whole full set of these and morphe is so affordable and they have the prettiest brushes and they're just i was really impressed with the the eye brushes that i use with them today so I think that is it today, you guys. I am super glad to be back filming with you guys. I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you have to put yourself, especially when I knew I was putting my bare face and my bare eyes on the, the channel today for you, uh, that, uh, you know, you have to meet, you can't be sick and, you know, you know, have a million tissues coming out of your face and all that stuff to do it. So I appreciate you guys being patient. I appreciate all the new followers. Welcome to my channel, everybody that's just now, uh, you know, subscribed. I know that we had a little thing on Instagram going where we did a, a sub for sub and I have found some really cool new accounts. So thank you for showing me your channel so I can go watch and give you some support. And I appreciate all of you um, supporting my channel as well. So for everyone else, uh, new and former followers, if you like this video, please hit the little thumbs up like below and subscribe and tell your friends. So I really appreciate you. And don't forget, you're only as old as you tell people you are. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.